finished replacement configuration steps. As previously discussed, we are going to replace our fast Ethernet with a gigabit Ethernet in the LAN environment with 24 to 48 ports. So what we are going to do, we are taking the configuration backup from the existing switch, 3750, 24 ports, fast Ethernet. We need actually, we already taken the backup. We need the Notepad Plus in order modification of the configuration. Once the configuration is modified, we need to download the add configuration file from TFTP to our switch new switch with a 48 port and then we of course verify the new switch configuration that all the configuration is fine and after that we need to uh, replace the switch from uh, from 3750 to 48 port uh, gigabit port so first of all the first step is the configuration backup of the existing switching this has already been done we use secure crt we use show run command and or we use tfdp this has already been done in the previous steps I can just quickly show you where we have already saved these configuration uh, for us. We can, uh, we, it, this had already been downloaded. So you can see uh, we have done, we have downloaded the configuration from 3750 switch, which can, uh, we can go into the secure plus, secure CRT. We can see that configuration is existing. This is the 3750 switch. You can see this is the fast ethernet switch and it has, uh, uh, how many switch port it has? It has uh, fast Ethernet 01024 and two SFP port, as you can see. These are the switches we, we need to we need to use them. So this configuration we will modify later. So this configuration taken backup has already been taken. The existing switch of 3750, the backup has already been taken. I just quickly go through. So this is as you can see, this switch has no configuration for all of them. Okay. So that's configuration backup has been taken in our previous steps. Now the next, let's go into the next step. The next step is modify the configuration via the notepad. How we can modify that? Basically, we need to we need to use the notepad and modify the configuration by using the port configuration of the 3750, and we need to modify according to gigabit port configuration. So this is the configuration we have already taken. We have already opened the configuration of 3750 switch, which you can see 3750 switch. It has, uh, if we can see the fast ethernet switches, uh, how many ports are fast ethernet, you can see there are uh, 24 port switches and there are two gigabit ethernet switches. The second switch, the other switch you can see where we are going to, we, we already taken the backup like fast gigabit ethernet. As you can see, they are the, um, these, these are the one with the 48 port switch. So what we need to do is we need to, first of all, we need to, in order to replace the fast ethernet configuration with the gigabit, what we need to do is we need to make sure, go to the search and uh, configuration point of view, we, we need to replace the, all the port because this switch is use the fast ethernet ports and the other switch is using the gigabit. So first of all, the configuration, all the configuration will remain same. In order to replace it, we need to go into the search. We need to go to replace. And here, fast Ethernet 1 will be replaced with the gigabit Ethernet. Okay. Now, but before we do this, just one main, make sure one thing. We can no, uh, keep the original configuration and we can change the name to 3750, 48 gig. And now we can search and replace the, yeah. Now you can see 24 uh, uh, occurrence has been replaced now. So now you can see everything is remain same, but the 48 port gig port from the other one other switch all the configuration has been replaced as you can see so now we don't have fast ethernet ports here we have all the ports are the gigabit ethernet one more thing because the existing switch was uh, 3750 was using two gig port as a sfp so we need to make sure their configuration should be also uh, you know um, replaced as well so what we can use, we can use the 
uh, they are the SFP port. So what we can do, we can go into the port number uh, 49 and 50. Forty-nine and fifty. Uh, this so this configuration will be forty-nine, and this will be fifty. So I can save from here. So you can see this. I just make sure one one more thing because I on this new switch, I want to use the port forty-nine and port fifty. So on the new switch configuration, we we from the 24 to we are using 24 ports, and port uh, 1049. This is connecting to our switch, for example, and this is connected to our server. We just change the port number from uh, uh, 1020, uh, 101 to 1050. Uh, also, we need to make sure one more thing because the both switches are on the same network. 10205190 is the existing switch. And the 133 port we are using for our new switch. So we need to make sure 133 port, we, we can use one more thing. So this switch, we need to make sure it has the VLAN, or you can see we can use the existing switch, uh, port 133 configuration from here. 133. So I can put one more uh, So I'm copying this configuration And I'm replacing it here putting it keeping it saving it here. So That's the 10 port 33 uh, 33 gig port and we are saying is no switch port also keep in mind this IP 10205 10205.10205 uh, network you can see this network and this IP is the same so what we need to make sure we can actually shut this port otherwise there will be IP conflict as well so that is what we have prepared the configuration of Cisco uh, uh, from the existing switch to the according to the gig port of, uh, as well according to our topology we don't need these these for example so we can remove them as well so whatever the configuration is not required you can also delete that and uh, I, I think it's better if we can shut this port before anything else so i'm i'm taking this and putting this on the top somewhere so whatever you make a change is just save it now So that is the switch configuration is ready. One thing I can change the new switch, uh, put the 48 port, just a name as well. Okay, so that switch will be a different switch then. So we done, we replace the what are the steps we have taken? We replace all the fast Ethernet, search the fast Ethernet, and replace it with the uh, replace with the gigabit Ethernet. That's the first thing we done. Also, according, we use the port 1033, taken the configuration of 103 and pasted it, it, it our, in our um, um, new configuration file as well, making sure this the new switch have the same IP as well. We also shut down the VLAN uh, port interface VLAN 205 as a shut as well. So later on, if there is a same IP existing on the same net, uh, on the same switch, it will not have any conflict. We also done the port 49 and 450, which are those are the SFP port. Um, we need to also replace them. We also use the we change the configuration from previously on the existing switch. It was using 101, which has now been using 1049 on this, for example. And uh, one more thing, probably we need to do. We need to do, we can see most likely these ports are not in shut. Hopefully they will come back straight away. If not, then the other thing you can see is you can do one more thing. You can add no shut as well on all the ports.
So we just added uh, on the safe side, we just added no shot on all the port as well. So that is the configuration has been saved. I am taking the um, just uh, I'm just copying this file. You can copy this way or you can just uh, right click this this folder and take the copy uh, copy this with the control C and then after that we need to go into the secure CRT and download the configuration in the new switch. That is our new switch. We have a console as well. We have the telnet as well. Sorry, uh, page. We have the telnet or a telnet as well. So this is the 48 port switch. You can verify this is the show version command. Show interface status command. Okay, total 48 ports we have. And you can see there is no configuration right now. We have before we put any configuration. Paste it any configuration. These ports are blank. So, and this is the 3750 switch we have, where we have taken the configuration. Both of both switches are online right now. Both the switches, as you can see, you can verify again by using the ping command. They are on the network, on our network. So basically, I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the configuration from TFTP. And now I need to go into the 48 port switch. As you can see, the existing switch which just only have the telnet configuration, nothing else. So what I'm going to do, copy. Now this time I'm copying it from the, this is our, as for our next step. I have modified the configuration. The next step is copy the configuration from via TFTP. The step will be copy TFTP to the flash. So I'm new, new, a new file will be not saved straight away into the um, uh, uh, run, uh, startup command or running command. We will be save, saving into the flash drive. So copy TFTP because that is our SOF into our flash. Host name 10.205.0.218 and the source file name. The source file name, as, as I explained it to you, you can simply copy. This is my source file, modified source file name. Control C and then you paste it in the secure CRT. You want to keep the same name? You can see it is downloading the file error. Just one second. So you can see this has given the error and what we found is that might be we need to put the TXT file as well. So up arrow, because we already given the IP address is taking the previous IP, the file name copy.txt. We need to put this exactly same name. Source file is the same. Okay, so you can see it has copied it. So this file has been copied in the flash. If I do show flash now, you can see fn90 config 3750 gig.txt field has been copied into the flash. Normally we use flash to keep our operating system, but flash can be used just like a drive as well. And you can copy your existing configuration or download it from the TFTP into the flash. Now you can see it is not in the running configuration. Okay, you can see there is no configuration right now. It is not in the startup configuration. Nothing, nothing is there because we not we have not directly saved into that running or the uh, startup configuration. We have saved in the flash. Okay, now this time. The next step, as we mentioned here, once you copy from the uh, TFTP to the flash, we verify it. Next step is flash to the running. Okay. Then, and then we will save the configuration. Now, let's see how we can do that. Copy flash to running. Okay. Source file name. This is the source file in the secure CRT. I can just copy uh, the text and I can say right click. It is exactly copying it. What will be the destination file? You will say running configuration. 
Okay, it has given some errors, but that should be fine. So now let's just verify. Okay, you can see all the VLANs from my existing switch. Okay, you can see all these VLANs has been copied across from my existing switch. All of these, for example, you can see all these configuration has been copied into the 48 port switch. Another thing is you can see gigabit. Now this all the the on the existing switch, it has using all the configuration which is connected to our firewall. It is connecting to the all of them. And also you can see port 149 and port 50 has the same configuration. 103 port has the same configuration. Uh, VLAN 205 should be shut down as well, and it has no IP address. That's good. So that is how we can prepare now our switch is ready we have both the switches are available this switch is available as well and this switch is also available on the network on a different network this is how we just modify the configuration we can still ping both of them without any problem so this is how we can do it and after that we need to make sure we copy the right memory from the running to if we are happy then we can uh, copy from running uh, running to uh, startup now we can see show running has the same configuration show startup has the same configuration okay now we can shut it down and uh, we can replace it of course, then we can reload. And then as a next step, we need to replace the 3750 switch with our 48 port. So this switch later on will be replaced with this switch. And we put all the cable, we will label them and we one by one be putting into the according to their configuration. Thank you very much.